Pokemon's been messing around with fast food for almost as long as it's been around, and when it's not choosing between Burger King and McDonald's, they've also been known to choose Wendy's, KFC, and Subway? Okay, that was a lot to unpack. So let's take it to the beginning. Back in the far off year of 1996, Pokemania has swept the nation, and two years later, KFC was the first to combine the world of fast fried food and cute animals. And they're just neat, plushy things. Things. And then in 1999, to celebrate the release of the first Pokemon movie, Burger King set the world on fire by creating a choking hazard? Aw, oh, jeez, cut the tape, cut the tape! Okay, so that's definitely a downer, but what else came with these hazards to life, liberty, and happiness? Well, the toys came in 57 different flavors, ranging from things like keychains to beanbags to Pokeballs. Dun dun dun. It's actually a pretty nice set, and I haven't seen any kids meal that was quite like it. I mean, what? Usually in a collection, there's like six toys or something like that? Burger King was like, nah, dude, you gotta get at minimum 57 burgers. They can't keep getting away with this, man. This is just criminal. Oh, and the coolest thing they had were these 23 karat gold Pokemon cards. These are completely worthless. Yeah, I actually had some of these growing up. Thanks, Connor. And they were pretty rad. I remember these gold ones specifically came in these huge Pokeballs. And being the dumb kid I was, I would pay like no attention to the nice shiny gold thing. I would just look at that Pokeball and play with that and pretend that it had Pokemon inside. Burger King would strike another deal with the Pokemon company back in 2000 to promote, you guessed it, Pokemon the Movie 2000. These were significantly less cool. And I also had a couple of these when I was growing up. Thanks, Connor. When I went back to my parents' house to look for it, I could not find it. So you're gonna have to deal with some stock footage. The toys were essentially just little plaques with Pokemon coming out of them, and you could press a button on them, and they would do different things like Scyther would just kinda scythe, and Articuno would make noises and flap his wings. After this, Pokemon would put a little distance between themselves and Burger King until 2008. While the Pokemon company was looking for a new soulmate in fast food, they, they got a little experimental. In 2003, Wendy's released their toys to promote the anime. And then in 2005, the Pokemon company even teamed up with Subway. Okay, this is at least the second time I've heard about Subway's giving out kids meal toys, but I just never remember seeing them as a kid. While we wouldn't get actual Pokemon cards in Happy Meals until around 2008, Japan was just living it up with McDonald's. From 2002 to 2006, there were these pretty cool Pokemon Happy Meals that came with actual cards. The 2002 set specifically was a set of 18 cards and you would get 6 with every Happy Meal. And these bad boys were e-reader compatible. Now for us American folks, the first taste of a McDonald's Pokemon promotion came in 2006 with some kinda ugly disc shooters. But it gets better because in 2008, the time would come, Pokemon would reunite with Burger King. And they had radical toys! And actual trading cards. And then in 2009, it turns out Pokemon Company ain't nobody's property, and they went straight to McDonald's. What a bitch! But hey, we still got cool Pokemon card reprints, and these would go on for about two more years. Unless you're French, in which case you got an extra year for some reason. But hey, 2014 came in with some launching Pokeballs, and officially licensed McDonald's branded cards. I sure do love consumerism. You know, by now, I'm pretty sure you get the idea. A new Pokemon game, movie, or anime comes out, restaurants cash in, we get some cheap toys and occasionally cards. It's pretty samey. So let's fast forward to 2021. Picture this. Pokemon has turned 25. While the United States is still under lockdown from a recent pandemic, our corporate overlords at McDonald's have given us hope. Hope in the form of children's playing cards. Unfortunately, bitches be greedy. Like, jeez louise, dude. This was a really cool promotion, but people just kind of ruined it. Just scalping up cards, selling them for hundreds of dollars. Kind of a pain. But let's talk about the set. This was a really cool promotion. It had unique cards made especially for this with that wonderful Pokemon 25 stamp in the corner. There were also four variations on how you could get these cards. Packs labeled one had a foldable card holder. Number two had stickers and a landscape. Number three were really big stickers. And number four was a display frame for your cards. Now the real genius with this is how cool it is and how cheap it must have been to produce. Literally everything is made out of paper. 
From the cards to the foil around them, to even the little bonus toy that comes on the inside, it is all just paper. Honestly, these managed to probably be the cheapest Happy Meal I've seen, and also the coolest. I just knew I had to get my hands on these. I went out on a pilgrimage with my good friend and co-writer, Brock. The journey was long, and somebody forgot to record the audio for the first half. But it would prove to be a fruitful journey, as we were able to get our hands on five Happy Meal boxes. Yep. Also, don't worry, it all got eaten. Once we got home, we brought everything out of the bag. There it was, our hoard of treasure. Children's playing cards from a collaboration between two multi-billion dollar enterprises. So we got to work opening them all. Some cards weren't of much note. However, on one of the last packs, there he was. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, it's a, really it's a Pikachu. Oh, man. How much is it worth? A hundred dollars? I need to get more! Looking for another high, I got more. Again, don't worry, the food went to a good place. Hey man, you want a Happy Meal? I'm good. <laughs> you know, it's times like this that I like to remember. At the end of the day, we know for sure that billion dollar corporations are always looking out for the little guy, willing to provide us with quality products and entertainment. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you want to stay updated, hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.